let me tell you, this government, in order to perpetuate the misery, is using 15 point something trillion naira to carry on one project that will not in any way contribute to ending the misery of the poor man. It will rather increase it. You mean the uh, coastal road? Exactly. It will rather increase the misery. And it's bringing me to the issue of misplaced priorities. Nobody is saying that infrastructure eventually will not be good for the people. But when you misplace your priority, and I'm trying to tell you how it's only 1% of the people that are eventually going to have the money. In a depressed economy that you are already owing using $10 billion to finance your budget, borrowed $10 billion, you had 27 trillion naira. 10 trillion of the 27 will be borrowed. Then you are granting a project of 15 point something trillion naira. One project. And it is to build roads, not to increase the productivity of the people. But wouldn't that, the building of, the construction of that road itself, wouldn't that create employment? I mean, we have uh, uh, Nigerians are going to work on that site. The, the, the ones to supply the sand, the ones to supply the uh, rods, the ones to supply the cement. I mean, all the artisans, they are Nigerians. Isn't that um, a plot? Isn't that a form of creating employment? Good. If you use that 15 trillion naira to repair all the roads that you already built that are dilapidated inside Nigeria, you will still achieve the same level of employment. Those roads, the traffic on them, because the alternatives already to that new one you build it, you will still create that level of employment, and you would have created the level of employment around Nigeria as a whole, not just along a coastal line. So the issue here is we are talking about priorities. I first of all admitted that eventually the provision of any infrastructure will be good. But what is your priority? What are you looking for? Building a new road that will lead to destroying the infrastructure of people on that line. When you have already existing roads that will not lead you to destroy the property of any Nigerian that you could have repaired and ensured that you provided alternatives to those people before moving into that. Okay.